Welcome to Chairman Tuntia. Hello, my name is Douglas Chan. Today I'm going to share with you a couple of case study related to this thing we want to find a person whether he is suitable to be his own boss. And this case study is extracted from one of the examples. And allow me to show you the case study. Let me share with you this case itself. As you can see from this case, this chart is a person who is born in 1983, March 21. So in this, we have to look at uh, two different aspects in terms of the chart. So the birth chart is able to tell us what are the things about his character, how he will behave, what he will do, and what he will not do in a general sense. And at the same time, we are able to see whether this person in terms of relationship with business, does he like to do business or does he do not like to do business? And whether he will make money, that's also something that we like to see. So in this aspect, first of all, we will take into consideration the character of the person first. So let us zoom in and see what is his person's character. So in order to see a person's character, we have to see and take reference with something called a day stamp. This is the day stamp itself. See this particular symbol where it's pronounced as U. So this U represents the person's uh, representation. That means this representation is a symbol whereby we have to take reference in all the boxes over here in box, the boxes, the nine boxes over here. So in U, there's one over here. There's also another one which is over here. So having said that, if you notice, one is in box four, one is in box seven. So in this case, this four and seven actually tell us the characteristic of the person, how he behave and how he will not behave. So having said that, we also have to categorize four and seven into two different category, which is classified as stage one and stage two. We have a stage one, which is somewhere around from his born all the way until about 35 years old. So stage two will be about seven, which is the somewhere after 35 years old all the way. So, in, when we look at this 1983, basing on the current date, which is about 2022, so he should be around stage two already. So we can safely say that his character has shifted from box four to box seven. So in this case, we will take reference in box seven as his current character. So in his current character, what happened is that let us zoom in. What is what does it really mean in terms of definition? So the darkness, darkness, somebody who is actually more introvert, do things a little bit more secretive, very low profile, but he or she can help people, and uh, basically can be quite mm, scheming also, in terms of uh, doing things behind the scene, and dispute somebody who is able to argue well. Uh, very good in talking, uh, may have to create dispute also, that means uh, create a lot of argument. So may not be a very fantastic character in that aspect. However, the advisor itself, if you look at this uh, advisor, which is pronounced as Tian Fu. Tian Fu is somebody who is pretty cultured, civilized, well presented, usually quite pretty. And at the same time, he's, uh, he's, very, he's somebody who is pretty smart in this aspect. So as a whole, this is a very basic character of this person. Of course, there are more to go, but we will not want to bore you so much in this aspect. Then after that, what happened is that, basing on box seven, we have to see the business itself. That means the business, where is the business? Is he suitable to be in business? Whether he will make money? So that's another thing that we have to take into consideration. So for business, we have to see this uh, live. So box eight is telling us about the business aspect. 
Okay. So business aspect, if you see there's a circle over here, which is uh, called the emptiness. Emptiness is something to be considered of, meaning that first the box A itself, the energy is going to be discounted. At the same time, it's also telling us that he's not able to accumulate money. That means whatever he earns is going to go out somewhere. So we have a black tortoise, we have a destroyer. So in the energy itself within the box head, it doesn't seem to be very good. It doesn't seem to be very good. So with the discounted factor, that means whichever that is not very good is lower in this aspect. So which means that, let's say if I were to base on element to element uh, focus, this person is an earth. That means the business is an earth. This person is a matter. Earth actually produce matter. So which means that the business will come to him. He is able to generate money. He is able to generate profit with minimum effort. That is something good for him. So although his palace in box eight is not very fantastic, but the potential of business coming to him is actually quite interesting. Not really very fantastic, but apparently it will be something whereby it can give him consistent income. So to, to sum up, is he really suitable to be his own boss? I would say, given a choice he still can do, it's not the best choice because apparently if you look at something else, which is the career box, let us uh, look, zoom in further. This is a career box. This is the partner. So the career box is in box number six. Box number six himself is actually matter. The career is actually matter. So technically, both are actually in harmony. And the box six, the information that is related to this job itself is still quite okay. Comparatively, it's still quite okay. So both of them are still good which means that if you were to work for people or if you were to have his own business, I would say that box six itself, which is the open door, which is also the career, will actually fare much better as a whole. Although there's a horse over here, but it's actually better than the emptiness because this emptiness means it's reducing energy for the profitability. So, because box six is 100%, box eight is discounted. So, if you talk about in terms of relative comparison, having a job is far much more secure comparatively. Okay, so here's the information about whether to see this person is going to be a boss, whether is it suitable. All right, so if you need more information about Simon Tunjia, you can always contact me over here. And then from there, probably, maybe you can want become one of the person that is able to acquire this knowledge. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. Welcome to Chiman Dunjia. Hello, my name is Dr. Chan. I'm the Chiman teacher. Today, I'm going to share with you one case study related basing on this question. Will this person potentially be having an affair in uh, their life? An affair meaning that this person will likely to have another third party in their life for this person, which is a guy. And we can see based on the birth chart of this person to see if there is a potential that this might likely to happen. Of course, having said that, we have to pay much attention that the chart is based on a reference. It does not mean that 100% this person will have an affair but the chances will be like 80%. But at the same time, we also have to see the environment itself, the education, the culture, all this will take into consideration too. All right, but if we just purely based on the birth chart itself, the chances of uh, accuracy is somewhere around 80%. But do make sure that this is consideration of the external force too. All right, allow me to share the screen with you for this chart. 
so that we can analyze this chart in a more detailed manner. So basic on this chart, this person is born in 1992, which is February the 23rd. So in this case, what happened is that there are two things we need to see. First, a uh, general character of this person. Second, the marriage palace itself. What is the relationship between himself and the marriage? Is it happily? Is it uh, having some problems? So first thing first, let's take a look at what are the character of this particular person. So this person, we will zoom in and see that we will take reference. This is the day stamp, which is the ji. Ji over here. Let's look at the person. One is over here. One is over here. So which means that box seven itself, this is the person's character. Box one, this is the person's character too. So when we talk about stages, which means that stage one and stage two. So stage one is somewhere one baby all the way until 35 years old, somewhere around there. So we have stage two is after 35 years old. So what happened is that analyze uh, this 1992, which is now based on 192022, current year is 2022, just take note. So 2022, now uh, this year is 2022. So probably we are talking about this person somewhere around 30 years old. 30 years old, so which means that currently his stage will be somewhere around here. So this is his character. So his character is somebody who is actually uh, a little bit proud, whereby he's, he like to have faces, that means he like to be praised, and a bit introvert, uh, like to be his, with himself rather than socialize, and uh, fearless, that means somebody who is easily agitated, uh, the temper can be quite bad. So that is the kind of uh, generic character of this person. Of course, there's a lot of other information we can retrieve based on these symbols, but uh, we will not dwell into it. Second stage, when he is in seven, box seven, we move to box one, which is the character. So after 35 years old, somewhere around there, his energy will become uh, more to night heaven, death and destroyer. So what does this mean? Uh, meaning that nine heaven is somebody who is expecting a lot. He has high expectation, not just about himself, but the people around him. So he likes to do bigger things, look at uh, greater things. Death door means somebody who is very stubborn, uh, very obstinate, where people who are, they have their own opinion. They don't really care about other people's opinion. Destroyer, somebody who changes a lot, so, which means that his character can flip-flop here and there. But he's a very important person because he's a, he's a pillar of the family. He's a pillar of the company also. So, basing on the character of this person, stage one is actually comparatively uh, better than stage. Stage two is actually quite bad. So, that is a consideration we have to take note also. Look at our relationship, which is a partner over here. Box nine is the relationship in terms of marriage. So it's telling us that the marriage itself generally is we have a life door. Life door stands for good. Uh, it's a good relationship. And of course, there's an impulse. Impulse also not so great in that aspect. But as a whole for box nine, it should look okay. However, there's a critical situation over here. This there's a thing over here. Thing means a third party, younger woman. So which means that in his life, regardless of a whether he's in stage one or stage two, there will always be woman, younger woman around him. Could be his job, could be his career, could be his social life or business. There will be a lot of younger women surrounding him. We are not talking about the daughter. We're not talking about the family member. We're talking about a third party. So question is whether is he able to withstand such kind of temptation 
that is something basing on his character. So what happened is this. Uh, let us analyze further. So the question is whether will this person possible to have an affair? So here's the thing. In box nine, current, current situation uh, is here, around 30 years old. So he's in box seven, which is himself. If he gets married over here, that means uh, marriage, uh, before the before 30 years old, he get married. So the marriage itself, this is fire, and this is metal. Okay. Fire actually melts metal. That means this marriage itself is going to create a lot of problem for this guy. So when the person is giving pressure, being pressured in the marriage, in that case, is there a possibility that this person will go out and find more people? That means find more uh, younger women. It's higher chance. So what happened if he were to move grows older? Let's say if he gets married a little bit older, after 35 years old, then his energy from box seven move to box one. So looking at the relationship of this person, box one and box nine. So this is fire and this is going to be water. Water, he is himself water, so he actually clashes with the fire. He will create a problem for the marriage. So at the same time, he also, because of himself being stubborn, high expectation, changes here and there, he will have a lot of problem created for the marriage. And of course, having said that, he will also have a lot of uh, women going around him. So the chances for him to have an affair is going to be very, very high. So uh, having said that, this person, although the marriage is supposed to be good, but because of his character and because of his uh, combination in the element to element between palace to palace, then it will tell us that the marriage relationship may not be so fantastic at all. So the chances of him to have an affair in uh, his life will be very high, around 80%. Okay, so in this, this is the case study of how we can see a person, whether this person is going to have an affair. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. Welcome to Shaman Donja. Hello, my name is Takashan. Today's topic we're going to talk about is a bit serious because uh, there were a couple of people who asked me about this question. So the situation is, when will they actually pass away? Or maybe, uh, to put it very bluntly, uh, when will they die? So in a Ximen Tun Jiang chart, we are actually able to see when is the possible years that may happen. I say I use the word may, uh, I'm not saying it will. It's just that it's a matter of the, the luck itself, the, the particular year will have more potential incident or accident might happen. So, I mean, based on the chart itself, uh, what I'm going to share with you today, we, you have to be very, uh, understand that it's just a very overview of it. I, I'm only covering the, the very basic of how to read a chart to see whether this person is going to, whether it's going to die. And, uh, and this, please do not apply this in your own chart because uh, there are still many things that you need to see to uh, complete the picture. Okay, so allow me to share with you this screen itself. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, as you can see, uh, based on this chart, who is in the year born 1964. So 1964 itself is compared to now is 2022. So 2022 is somewhere, he's about coming to now uh, this year is 2022. So 60, about 30, 35, no, no, 40, 50, about 60, 60 years old, somewhere around there, 60 years old. So the question is, when are we able to see this person uh, going to pass away? 
So, uh, we are not going directly to see the character of this person, but based on this chart, we will have to see the direct information. So, before we actually see the information, we have to uh, understand a few concepts. So, in order for a person to die, that means this person luck, this person energy is going to be the lowest in that particular year. So, we're going to base on year by year. We are not going to cover the month. That will be another story already. But here's the thing. In order for a person to pass away, the person's luck must be very bad, extremely bad. The energy must be very bad. So much so that the, the death is going to come to him. So having said that, in this Timonon Church, we are able to spot where is the lowest energy in terms of the person's luck. So we will focus on what is the luck of the person in specific years. So in this chart, every single box represents specific years. So the years itself, we will actually take note. First, first step first, you must find where is the lowest luck. The lowest luck is here, death dog. Death dog is the lowest luck. There's another second lowest is injury dog. So if I were to look at box nine and box eight itself, it's telling us that box nine and box eight, these two different boxes, they are the two different years that might likely to happen. That means it's the lowest energy. So there's assumption, uh, that of course there's assumption, meaning that when your energy is the lowest, there's a very high chance that something bad will happen. Okay, so here's the thing. Let us look at where is the potential years that might happen. Okay, so the years that might happen is here. G. So in every G year, G will have a very bad luck. In every big year, G will also have very bad luck. So that is basing on the stem itself. Huh? We also need to look at the branches. The branches is actually in box eight. Behind the scene, box eight and box nine. So the year itself in box eight is Chou. Chou year, Ying year, which have the box eight. Huh? And at the same time, if you talk about the death of dog over here, which is box nine, this is Wu year, which is box nine, that's the lowest. So having said that, that means in the event of combination, any of the combination of G and Ping together with Chou, Ying and Wu, this year itself, there's only a couple of years which are like that. Some of them may not even have. So we have to look at our calendar, the 60 jia zi itself. Look at that. Where is the year that is going to be very, very sensitive in terms of the lowest energy? And from there, you're able to spot that particular year is going to be the lowest year. Okay, so in the lowest year itself, what's going to happen is that, of course, you before you take a look at what's going to happen, you already know that this particular year is going to happen. So probably you might have to, you know, pay more attention to your health, uh, travel lesser, uh, involved in activity which are less risky, then at least maybe, maybe you might be over, able to overcome that kind of situation which is the lowest uh, luck in that particular year. So of course, having said that, we have to be a bit more careful in such a way that we, we don't have to be re re really too worried about all this kind of thing because sometimes it's, uh, yes, your luck may, may not be good, but pay attention when you get older. When the person gets older itself, then we have to be a bit more careful. But if you're young, like 20 years old, 30 years old, and you notice that next year or the year later is going to be a very bad year, it's okay, don't worry. It's just that probably your business is going to be bad. Your, uh, you might get unlucky in certain things. 
So it's, it won't mean that you will actually die, you see. So that means you just be a bit more careful, that will be okay already. All right, so this, I just want to emphasize all this information are just very uh, basic information. There's actually still a lot of things you need to see. And from there, I hope and wish you good luck in uh, your life. Thank you very much.